Thank you to all of you. You put out thousands and thousands of phone calls, hundreds of lawn signs. This is your win tonight. Thank you all for being here and doing so much over the last three months. I want to congratulate and thank, I want to congratulate the city council candidates who won tonight. Many of whom are here with us tonight and say how much I'm looking forward to working with the city council over the next three years. Congratulations city councilors. <laughs> Mom and Dad, where are you? Come on up here too, Mom and Dad. Thank you for everything you've done, for raising me right. Here they come, Michael and Ethel, who've come up from Heartland tonight. So, this, this was a hard-fought campaign, and I want to start by saying I have great respect for Karina and Infinite. They both love our city and had the courage to climb into the arena and fight for their visions of Burlington's future. Thank you to Karina and Infinite for what they did for this community. I want to thank Karina and Infinite for their commitments to Burlington and acknowledge that because of their hard work and the work of their incredibly dedicated teams, 
I've learned from each of them, and, my, and I'm heading into the next three years as mayor, better equipped to serve the Burlington community because of our spirited debate over these past two months. I look forward to continuing my conversations with Infinite and Karina in the weeks and months to come and hope to work alongside both of them to make our city even better. So America should take notice of this. This election represents the best of what democracy looks like. No angry late night tweets, no sharp sticks. <laughs> but rather committed candidates discussing real issues in a productive debate about a future worth fighting for. Let's give a round of applause for Burlington, a city that proudly serves the nation. As a Today, Burlingtonians sent a clear message. We must keep moving forward. Today they endorse the idea that fiscal responsibility is the foundation for turning bold ideas into action. They call for investment in our public spaces and core infrastructure to better the quality of life in our economy. Today Burlingtonians supported a plan to create a more equitable and affordable Burlington by creating more housing for all. And they said loudly and clearly, let's lead on climate change and lake protection. Let's continue our focus on sustainability and renewability, and let's make Burlington a net zero energy city. Today, Burlingtonians agreed with our continued focus on public engagement, transparency, and community responsiveness. And they affirmed our broader vision for Burlington a vision of city where there's opportunity for all members of our community, where people of all backgrounds and ages, regardless of race, gender, orientation, or origin, can make a home, raise a family, succeed in a career, and live out their dreams. Today's vote was a test of our commitment over the past six years to strong fiscal management, community vibrancy, responsible growth, and investment in new downtown jobs and housing. Thank you, Burlington, for working so hard to make our city even better. I'm honored to have served these past two terms, and I will do all I can to move Burlington forward over the next three years.